When did you decide to betray us? Twenty years ago, a great and terrible power drew me to Tristram. But Aiden, Leoric's eldest son, defeated that power and sought to contain it within his own flesh. The Dark Wanderer. It was Diablo I saw within him, and I pledged myself to his service. Now, at last, his grand design comes to fruition. <laughs> Dear Leah, Deckard always suspected your true father was Diablo himself. And now, my daughter, you shall serve as his vessel! I live. But I am more than I once was. The seven evils are now one within me. I am the prime evil. Well done, faithful Adria. Go now, until I call upon you again. Now at last, to my true goal, the one that has always eluded me. The utter destruction of the high heavens.
betrayed us and killed her own daughter. Leah was used as a host for Diablo's rebirth as the prime evil. Now, all the power of Hell answers to him alone. The high heavens themselves break under his assault. For the angels cannot withstand the depth of his corruption. Only I can. Defies all reason. Imperius, you cannot mean to face Diablo again. Your wounds are barely healed. The heavens burn. This is your fault, Tyrion. And you, Nephilim, look below and see what your kind has wrought. The diamond gates have stood since the light first broke over the high heavens. Now they lie in ruins. Imperius is right. I am the cause of this. Don't let his words deceive you. Diablo planned it all from the very beginning. You are not at fault. Long ago, my brethren and I voted to decide the fate of men. I cast the final vote that spared you from extinction. Now humanity has birthed the prime evil. No. We were betrayed. And now we must make amends. We must stand and fight. Isn't that why you became mortal? If you will not join me, I shall go on alone. But you don't understand. Hope has been silenced. Upon the destruction I have wrought, it will be the last thing you see. Iskato, destroy the Nephilim. I do not fear you, Nephilim. You find only death in this eternal realm. the terror demons as unconquerable foes. The dreams of Diablo made flesh. They appear in shadow to torment their victims, and then, in shadow, they vanish. The mere sight of one drove a Herodron to madness, leaving him screaming and clawing at his eyes until the end of his days. That was not so difficult. Not even a I am Ethereal, Archangel of Fate. It is my duty to record what is and what will be within the scroll of fate. But you, Nephilim, you are not in the scroll. Your fate is unwritten. Then I shall try to make the best of it. Will you help me? Or stand and watch while the heavens fall to darkness? Perhaps fate can be changed. Quickly then, Ariel, Archangel of Hope, has been captured by Ragnoth, the Lord of Despair. I will free her. That should restore the faith of your brethren. Keep your guard. There are foes at every turn. He's by 
Wild crawlers are commonly spoken of among the peasantry in Honduras, most often invoked to scare unruly children into their beds. Fables hold that the crawlers are the half-formed demon spawn who hatched before their time. They resemble nothing more than a bloody, ravening mess and possess a voracious appetite for human flesh. No one has seen an armored destroyer since Diablo was exiled from the burning hell centuries ago. Before then, they were the bulk of his army, and they crawled, thick as locusts over the face of their master's realm. Should the Lord of Terror ever return, I fear they would be his heralds. have always been powerful demon sorcerers. They constantly sought to increase their standing in the bloodthirsty realms of hell. To this end, they imprisoned a score of massive Armadon, torturing and flaying them until the hell beasts would bear subjugators as riders. Together, the mount and its master are nearly invincible. I have seen many warriors in my day, but only a scant few of them could face the might of an oppressor. This monster towers over the tallest barbarians and wields weapons crafted from hell-forged steel. They were last seen with Bale during his resurgence and left legions of dead men in their is comprised of the five archangels who hold dominion over the high heavens. They determine the laws by which all angels must abide. Each of them embodies a pure aspect of creation. Valor, justice, hope, faith, and wisdom.
In the beginning, Rakanoth served Andariel, the Maiden of Anguish, with efficient brutality, for his touch may open up many painful wounds. He was also the Warden of Iswal during many long years that the Angel suffered in Rakanoth's own Plains of Despair. But he has quit his realm unexpectedly in recent times. This is unlike any library I've ever seen. 